The value of American citizenry is the right to become anything we choose to make ourselves happy in the pursuit of life and liberty. Part of life and liberty is finding love in the partner that the Lord God above has planned for us. It is true that some metaphysical professors in little bitty New Age shops might tell you that there's many partners available to you because she is a solicitor of men who come to her class because her husband doesn't keep her satisfied and she's lost a child that's on her life. But when she steals a man's words by listening to his channel and abuses his property that someone might have paltrily stole from him or gave to her in an act of ill will and hatred, she might want to be cautious about what she's doing. The love and light concept did not come and evolve from that woman. It came from my friend who's clairvoyant named Claudia. And how she got it is by attending a lot of conferences probably, or it could just be her creative work. And she taught me those words as a appropriate greeting, an appropriate goodbye to people in our world of spiritual life. She did not claim it with any copyright. She did not claim it with any intellectual property rights. But she claimed it as a part of our faith. And our faith in this world is what we keep and cling to. It is the foundation of the infinite opportunities we have to have life balance. And every professional person on the television news and every talk show always topicals that topic every year, typically around New Year's. So life balance is a standard topic in every society practically around American uh, as a nation, America as a nation. And it usually provides people some concept of elation when they see how simple it is to filter their life, to manage their life from strife, and to put their life in perspective. Your faith and what you do as a philosophy in life in front of other people and in front of you is what is the foundation of what people know about you. You practice your faith and you practice your professional skill sets every single day. So when you lie to yourself about how you're able to behave in front of people, you've told yourself that lie clearly. When you think you have the right to curse around in front of people and you think you have the right to piss on top of people who just might be running late because of traffic, that's on you. When you nickel and dime your employees by basically taking them off time or giving them these stupid little junior high uh, pings on their employment record because they're late by five minutes, that's on you before God. The world doesn't run on your time schedule. And there are men in law enforcement that will do everything in their power to ruin a life once they learn about it through ill-gotten, ill means that are put out there by a sibling, by a friend, by a family member, by a colleague who's just fucking piffed off and decides to do something in an act of hatred before God. 